All right, coming up on this episode of Table Culture, we're going to be talking about the 2015 game, uh, Raptor. Uh, it's a Bruno Cathalo game, so you better be excited about this one because he's done a lot of really great two-player games like mm -hmm. Seven Wonders Duel <laughs> and King Domino. And uh, he's also buddies with Bruno uh, Faduti, I think that's how you say his name. Okay. And that guy is responsible for Mission Red Planet, which yeah. makes sense because it's got a lot of take that and action selection. Cool, cool, cool. So you're going to want to check this one out? All right, we're back for another episode of Table Culture, the show where we give you recommendations about games you should be playing. Graham, what do we have on the dock today? Raptor. Oh, so, so good. I love Raptor. <laughs> Let's talk about Raptor. Uh, Two-player game for nine and up, which makes sense. It's 25 minutes in length, which I agree with. It usually takes about that long to play through because it's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a Bruno Cathala game, which is like, Immediately gets me excited because he's done Five Tribes and Cyclades and uh, King Domino. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> how does this game work? Uh, well, we are both, uh, we both take on the roles of either a family of raptors or some scientists that are trying to capture baby raptors for study. Mm -hmm. Uh, either or, 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 or subdue the, the mother raptor before it's they're true. all killed violently by the mother raptor. It's true. And the mother, after all, all she wants to do is, is get her babies to safety. So, yeah, yeah it's it's like uh, depending on which uh, faction, you know, there's different uh, there's different sides of the story. You know, the uh, history is written by the victors, and you know, it's like yeah, was was it was it the, <laughs> was the was it evil man coming yeah. in and destroying yeah and stealing the baby raptors? Like I, I honestly have sympathy for the the raptors in this one. So or <laughs> or is it is it that uh, the raptors are vicious mm -hmm. and we need to study them in order mm -hmm. to create a better predator? Okay, much like the yeah like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom would okay. have us or aliens, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about this. So it's, it's an action selection game. We each have a deck of nine cards, and uh, depending, I'm, I'm playing the role of the scientist in this case. Mm -hmm. So in the case uh, of the scientist, I have options like laying fire around the raptors or using a jeep to move really fast. Uh, I can also add scientists to the tableau. Uh, mm -hmm. And the reason why I want to do that is because the scientist can shoot uh, gas capsules to subdue the mother or to uh, capture the raptors. Mm -hmm. Now, what, you, what is your... Uh, well, my, guy, my, my, my uh, thing, I can, um, I can remove sleep tokens from myself or wake up my babies around me because mm -hmm. uh, you're a jerk putting them to sleep. And yeah. then I can... Uh, what else, what else, what else? I can... There's some pretty sweet abilities. Remove the mother from the board. Then after the scientist player has used all, all of his action points, yeah. place her back on a free space. Also, it's like a disappearance and just, just uh, see what happens. Scientist player will show you which card he has selected before he chooses yours. Okay, that's pretty cool. So very stealthy, mm -hmm. very stealthy things, and uh, so you can wake up the babies. Yeah, I can move a baby onto a free space of your choice on the tile where the mother is located. This yep. move must be carried out without the cross, without crossing spaces that are occupied or in which there is a fire token. Right? Okay. Yeah. Then shuffle your draw pile and your discard pile to form a new draw pile. Okay. So is there um. A hand size that you start with, or do you just have all these cards available? You always have three cards available to okay. you, and then you'll pick one of them uh, yeah. to use. Right. And then when you run out of cards, uh, you refresh yeah. effectively. Yeah. That's cool. So, so there's, on, there's only really four ways for the game to end. One being that the scientists capture th three baby dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. The other being that the scientists put the mother to sleep five times. Yeah. And I can, uh, I can have three baby raptors escape through these little... Mm -hmm. These half circles, so these are the yeah. escape zones, and then either... And then um, you can also just eliminate... The scientists, yeah. Which is very satisfying experience <laughs> as a raptor. <laughs> yeah. Because there's... They're evil, man. They're evil Look scientists. Look at this guy. And then there's the ridiculousness of the scientists. <laughs> Still think my favorite is the running guy. Yeah. He's just like, where are you going, guy? Are you running towards the babies or away from the mom? Yeah. And then you have the sniper. You're yeah. Over the sniper. It's pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> I am very appreciative of the art style of this game. Mm -hmm. The um, 
the artist they have on board, uh, Vincent Dutret, is my uh, favorite artist for uh, for board games. I love uh, I love his art style. It's very very realistic and very uh, like the the people are are very attractive. So like um, he does games like uh, like um, Lewis and Clark. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's true. And uh, and the new Cthulhu uh, love letter that came, uh, came out. Uh, he's, got, he's got like it's like illustrative, but it's not mm -hmm. like in. Unrealistic. Yeah, yeah. It's really uh, cool. I I personally think that the miniatures are awesome. Like this mother raptor is ferocious looking, and yeah, I I can't imagine anything different. Yeah, I know on this board especially. So this is my first call out to this is my call out to <laughs> Madagal Games. I I don't know what happened. Okay, when I when I had this game, I brought it maybe to a, to somebody's house or I left it somewhere, but um, I can't remember. If I ever opened it up to find if there were actually the raptor pieces in the box, yeah. but at one point I opened the the game the game up and the, the, I didn't have the raptor pieces, so I don't know. Yeah, if, so this is obviously my copy. This yeah, is this is Tim's copy. <laughs> my copy is at home and it, it it doesn't have the raptor pieces. So yeah, um, and this, these babies are really cute. Uh, I ca they can't be replaced. Mm -hmm. So here's the minis, super awesome baby mama, and then super awesome baby raptor. So I'm just um, I'm wondering if you're watching medical if you can if you can send me some bait some some raptors because raptor. I don't know if it was my fault I honestly <laughs> if if I lost them through negligence or if they were never included in the box I haven't read anywhere where you've been uh, not including the raptors in the box so I'm assuming that some down, somewhere down the road in in 2016 or 2017 <laughs> I was it was a strange time for me and I just lost these raptors but all I got. My game. If I ever wanted to play this game, I'd have to replace them with something else, and then I'm not prepared to do that yet. So if you're listening, help a guy out. <laughs> my address. Uh, I won't tell you my address unless you uh, email it. Tim. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, and and then, and also I want to point this out because you you introduced me to this game, but there's another game by the name of Draco from uh, or is it Draco? I don't know. Draco. Yeah, that one with the dwarves and the dragon. Right? From 2011. Yeah. That uh, cool supersedes this game, but, supersedes, yeah. but I think they're both fun for different reasons. Yeah. Draco's really simple. Right? You just got those like simple actions that you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. obviously, like obviously, uh, Bruno yeah. Cathalo, he whether he was influenced by Draco or not, I think like both games in their own right are fun. Yep. And yep. if you like Seven Wonders Duel, obviously that's another great two-player tryout. Or claustrophobia, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then um, a dinosaur plug game is Dinosaur Island, which I haven't actually played yet, but I keep hearing really great things about. So there's my yeah. recommendations of other games. And then Matago, obviously, mm -hmm. they got they produce lots of great stuff. Like they, and we were actually debating about this before, but I guess we'll we'll leave that for you guys to suss out for us. But they they done copies of Scythe and Viticulture Essential Edition and Orleans oh, yeah. Yeah. and Tigris and Euphrates, so they usually get their hands on good good stuff, good, good stuff, good IP. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> like uh, you know the Madagal, they do they do the uh, the Comet, which is one of one of my favorites. Um, we eventually we'll eventually do a video. And then Cyclades as well, and uh, so yeah, they got they got some good stuff. It's a good French company. They got some they got a wide range of. Uh, Different, different complexity games. So yeah, that's good stuff. So that said, uh, we hope you enjoyed our review of Raptor. It's a really fun game, great for two players. Really, really easy to play. Really easy to set up, tear down, all that. And it's like fun thematically. I yeah. just think it's a really fun theme. So we hope you enjoyed it. Please leave us a comment uh, or two, letting <laughs> us know if you've enjoyed this um, and if you what you think of Madagot Games. And Subscribe to the channel and um, yeah, that's that's been our review of table uh, of uh, Rapture. So thanks for watching Table Culture, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> no, you should have it like you should be like, well, welcome to our edition on this day of. <laughs> And have it dubbed in <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> July 6th. <laughs> you know what you do to do that? You know how you fake that? How? You just do a off, oh, yeah. off camera yeah. where I'm talking. And then I just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Graham, what day is it today? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Tuesday, <laughs> July 6th.
Good point. <laughs> That's how you do that. Glad I'm not wearing this same shirt that I was wearing on... Which day was our last video? <laughs> Friday. Friday. November 7th. The 7th of, of October. <laughs>